Good afternoon, everybody. This is Michael Tula and my partner in crime, Zach Salazar. We're going to be reviewing Rene Rivas's newest short film, The Tent. Now, uh, I guess I'll, I'll give my background with regards to, um, you know, Rene first, and then you can, you can do that, and then we'll give each other's uh, uh, opinions on his new movie. But I first knew of uh, Rene or was introduced to him when I did a uh, pre- review for him for spirit of Haddonfield, his Halloween uh, fan film that I did for talk which, you know, I thought he did a good job with it. And now it, I was kind of curious, you know, how is the tent gonna, gonna be, you know, now that he's not, since anyone does like a fan film, they're kind of harnessed by the, the, the mythos and the, and the world that's created by the original source material that they're doing fan service to. And I was kind of curious because, uh, you know, he did a good job with Spirit of Haddonfield, but, you know, just from a filmmaking standpoint, I was like, yeah, you can tell he was a competent guy. So how is he going to do with his own source material in, in the tent? So, uh, Zach, why don't you give us a little preliminary intro to what you were going to expect, and then uh, we'll get into it. Well, uh, honestly, man, I really didn't know what to expect. All I knew was I, uh, I haven't followed him as much as you have. And that's probably my mistake because he seems like a really great dude. I see a lot of the cool stuff that he posts and very engaging with his audiences. And, you know, he seems like he runs really nice sets. He gets a lot of, you know, crew members. He plans out. He seems very meticulous. And that's really cool to see in a, in a, in a fellow filmmaker. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I know a little bit of his background. Spirit of Haddonfield being involved with Never Hike Alone. So I was like, okay, he's doing his own original thing now. So let's see what we got here. In the Woods killer type stuff the tent i don't really know what to think of the tent i mean it's intriguing so you know hey i was i was all for it man so i finally got to check it out last night and uh i enjoyed it i enjoyed it yeah i mean instantly we're not going to give spoilers but um the, from the from the jump i was in it you know uh from mm -hmm. the, the i'm not sure if it was like kind of like a, a photography negative sound that he had at the beginning um i had I, I just seen it once so it's not totally fresh in my mind, but that and then the comic book, the type feel of a, yeah. you know, a hologram, it reminded me of like uh, Tales from the Dark Side just because of the reddish color. And then boom, once it, once it turns into, you know, real time when, when you know, uh, the, the actress is, is, is driving, who's played by uh, Marla Robeson. Um, by the way, R Marla Robeson, Ryan Ashley, you know, starring in the film. This is directed by Renee Rivas and Brian Goff. Um, but yeah, immediately I was, I was into it and uh, it didn't disappoint. It was funny because it seemed to me when I, when I was telling you guys, you, uh, you know, JP, also um, the Stefano director that did Halloween Night with us. Um, I was like, yeah, dude, uh, the, the, the tent kind of reminded me of, you know, like an, like a, like one short in an anthology horror film or like uh, one ep one episode of like Tales of the Dark Side, you know, how it kind of transitions. So I was like, yeah, it was really cool. I liked how, especially how it ended with the, with the shot. Yeah. Say what, how it ended, but it was a good ending to it. Um, and it felt like I was reading is it's just like all the, the, the horror movies that I remember reading as a kid or like seeing on TV, like as, as a, you know, I don't know why Tales of the Dark Side kind of nails it for me, but, uh, I, and after I saw the movie, I was looking at his YouTube channel because he had a blog. There was, he actually did a screening of this in uh, Flagstaff. I think it was like in no November of 2019. And sure enough, the, the moderator was like, yeah, this is supposed to be like a Twilight Zone and um, yeah. Tales of the Dark Side creep show type of movie, like short film. And it totally felt that way. Um, yeah, man, I, I, I had a good time watching it. And it was, in my, in my opinion, it was very well done. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree, man. I really like the location, too. I noticed that uh, Rene Rivas does a good job of utilizing his locations and pretty much getting as much as he can out of them. And it's uh, the one he had in this was very was beautiful, beautiful park. I don't know where. Um, really good landscape shots. It was very aesthetically pleasing to my eyes. Um, but, yeah, like I just I feel like he puts a lot of effort into – whether it be like a 30 minute film, 15 minute film, you know, he puts a lot of effort into getting the best production value. And I, I really like that. Um, I, uh, I love 
like I said, not no spoilers, but I love the practical effects. You know, I, they always get a positive reaction from me, especially in horror films. I'm all for practical, man. And I wish, I really wish more films would do that and keep that tradition going. But um, yeah, I had a good time with this movie. Um, a lot of running shots and some would see that as kind of boring, but I didn't really, I think it's cool because the whole times as she's running, it's like you, we get more subtle clues each time she, you know, does certain things and it helps escalate the tension of what's going on around her. It's kind of hard to say without giving spoilers away, but um, yeah, he did a really good job of basically escalating the tension and building a sense of dread without saying like anything. I mean, I think she has like two lines of dialogue this whole movie, but yeah, very well done, man. I, uh, like I said before, I enjoyed it. And it's funny that you brought the comic stuff up, the fade into, cause that was, that was really cool. That's a special shout out for me. That was cool. Yeah. When you, when you start playing it, you're, you're already in. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And yeah. I like how the, he, he built the suspense and he kept it throughout. And uh, there was one shot in particular that involved, you know, a little bit of a uh, of, of blood coming down a plant, you know. Yeah. Lisa, she just ran past. She didn't know it. And I was just like, kind of wondering, I was like, what the hell's going to happen? Then there's a little, uh, you know, you're talking about dialogue. The the one or two lines she does say is a little Easter egg for for Halloween. But hmm. uh, don't want to give it all away. We got the yeah. links down below. Uh <laughs> You can see it on Amazon right now. If you have Amazon Prime, it is as of October 2nd, 3rd, whenever this is going to be uploaded. It's it's not on YouTube yet, but I'm sure he'll, he'll, he'll end up put, putting it up on YouTube eventually. But right now, the, the link's down below. Also, if you want to check out a link to uh, my article previewing uh, you know, Spirit of Haddonfield, you could also check out Spirit of Haddonfield on Renee's channel as well. We'll put a link to his YouTube down there as well. It just crossed over 55,000 views. Give mm. that a look if you're a fan of uh, Halloween, if you haven't seen it yet. And check out the tent. I think that, um, you know, uh, I enjoyed the tent. And I think that, you know, with, with, with every film that Renee's, um, you know, he, he's improving as a filmmaker. You know what I mean? So it's like, I, yeah. I really want to see what he does next. And it's fun to follow these guys, you know. Uh, yeah. Just, everyone else doing their, you know, uh, their fan films and, and fan films are a good way to kind of build an audience. So it's like, you know, he's doing the smart thing. Like what other people are doing, you do the fan film first, you build an audience, then you can do what you want afterwards. So it's hard to, for indie filmmakers to, you know, build an audience for themselves. And I think that's an excellent way to do it, especially particularly nowadays. Yeah, that's well said. I know a lot of people that have tried to do something original first and doesn't really go anywhere and, you know, and then they do a fan film adaptation of something and, um, you hit the nail right on the head with the the audience building, so it's good stuff, man. It's good for good watch, good watch. All right, well, check out the tent by Renee Rivas. This is Mike Tula. It's my partner Zach Salasad. Thank yeah. you for watching the rundown, and uh, we're out. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at the Indie Rundown, and like our Facebook page, the Indie Rundown Podcast. Yeah.